Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of a new indie horror game on Steam called Satanist, which is possibly the edgiest title I've seen on Steam so far this year. If you'd like to know what the game is about, I can read you the Steam store description, though I'm not sure you will know much more afterwards than you did before. Let's get into it. Alex, the usual guard of private clinic, came his regular working night, everything as usual, quietly and calmly. From this silence, Alex fell asleep. When he awoke, he decided to make a detour to somehow cheer himself. Sorry, cheer myself. During bypass begins that all life will not let him sleep. Features of game, terrible an atmosphere. To survive, you have to run away, to hide, and to be careful. So yeah, that's what the game is about. Any questions? No? Good. Uh, this game is $3. There's a link in the description. Before we begin, though, we have to click on important because, number one, there's an exclamation point next to it, and I've never seen an option like this on a menu before. So let's go ahead and see what it is. It's controls in English and I presume in Russian. All right, so praise error controls here. E and Q to hide. Huh. F is flashlight, C is crouch, left shift is sprint. Places where you can hide are marked with an exclamation point. Tables, an exception. Not sure what that means. The shelter cannot use a flashlight. I don't know what that means either, because by shelter you would assume they mean a building, so, but of course a building can't use a flashlight, so I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, stealth LED, green, you are in the shelter. Yellow, you have not seen and not in hiding. Red, you noticed. So I think what this means actually, um, green, you're hidden, red, you've been spotted. I'm not sure what yellow means. The shelter can hide when stealth indicator is yellow. The shelter can hide. To do this, you need to run away from the enemy at a certain distance. Okay, and then this gets cut off towards the bottom, so, uh, no idea. You know, sometimes when I poke fun at the poor English in these games, I get a hard time from some people in the comments, but this is what I mean. I have no clue what most of this means, because the English is so bad. If you're gonna publish your game in English on Steam, just get a proper translation done. There's not even that much text in these things. Get it proofread. I don't know. Whatever. New game. Let's let's get into this. I'm really excited. I got a little grumpy there for a second, but I'm back. Hmm. I fell asleep again. We need to walk or I fall asleep again. Don't threaten me. We need to keep walking or I'm gonna... I swear I'll fall asleep again. I'll do it. Okay, well, I don't want... Our character to fall asleep. What is this? One late night deadline? Have to drink coffee in order to stay awake. That's all that game is, right? I know I haven't played it on the channel, but um, I did play the original One Late Night, and I heard that deadline was awful. I could never get it to launch, so I haven't played it on the channel. Heads, Doctor. What? Surge. Heads, Doctor? I'm pretty sure that, oh, but here, here's the foot doctor, right? The orthopedist, that is what a foot doctor is, right? But this one, it's just heads doctor. What, what, don't, don't you, aren't they called like craniologists or, or something like that? What just happened? What the hell, did you fall asleep? Uh, okay, game hasn't frozen, because I can still, Pause it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> There's no music or anything in this game, by the ah! way. Oh my god. <laughs> What? The 
a horror. Look, guys, a skull. Yeah, and there's a pillow for the skull. Some, <laughs> some bully moved him off of his comforting pillow, though. I think if you were to die someplace, wouldn't you have you die with your head resting on something like a a pillow? This isn't even a pillow. It's like a sack, sack of like a potato sack or something with tons of odd stains on it. All right, where I am. All right, cool. Mm hmm. I I don't know where you are, but we're we'll, we'll try to get you out of here. What's going on here? That that's a that's a pretty laid back reaction to finding someone's freaking legs with no torso. But hey, there's a pentagram. Must have been the work of a satanist. I'm really curious, like what? Um, what is that? Did so is this shit? Did someone smear shit on the wall? Are we living with monkeys? What's happening? Is this a baby prison? How I got here at all? Your guess is as good as mine, dude. Alright, uh-oh, super evil things are happening. Lilith, guys. Samael. Oh, God. A skull. On a freaking shell oil barrel. Can they have their logo in this game? What? Alright. Ah, oh. red means scary, guys. Let me hear it. Let me hear y'all say it. What's the mantra of this freaking channel at this point? Welcome to hell. I like how they're all uppercase except for the L. Very odd. And if that's the lower, if that's the uppercase L, maybe you should have chosen a different typeface. Good. No sound effect for the door. That's great. We're on uh on track. Okay, excuse me. Oh, oh no, an inverted cross. Oh, oh no, Lovecraft, Cthulhu. What is this? I can't even, I can't even read that. I'm sure it's some, some edgy book. It's got a skeleton hand on it. So this person, this is someone's cell. Um, they had a nice wooden desk and nothing else. And it looks like the nice wooden desk is sinking into the floor. So it wasn't even placed properly by the developer. It was put below the freaking floor. Open up, please. Thanks. What is this? Okay. Uh, what's going on? This game has nothing in it. Okay. Hi. Oh. There are no batteries. Okay, so I... I flashlight? Do I just get a flashlight? So we're looking for batteries, right? Okay, I'll look around. Can I go? God, I can't see. This game is really dark. What? I can't believe I'm having to do this tactic. Here we go. Walking backwards. There we go. It worked. Open up. Nope. No. Okay. Uh, I'm glad we have a visual for the thumbnail. A lot of times, the, the problem with these games is that um, there's just nothing, like, visually interesting in the game at all. It's just, like, dark hallways and notes and, like, spoopy music. So a lot of times when I'm making the thumbnail for games like this, I'm always like, I wish there had just been, like, a corpse somewhere or something. Just give me something to work with. So then I, I usually just put, like, the game name and, like, some background, you know, texture or something. That's what I had to do for, like, the Lost Souls, I think. Give him your soul. Um, right. Wait. This is a different hallway. Because it looks like there's shit on the floor! What? What? Oh, my freaking god. Okay. Open up. He's free! Oh. Doesn't cost any money, huh? Okay. It looks like a battery. Perhaps it is useful to me. That does not look like a battery. Okay. Can't use the flashlight still. 
Awesome, can't open these. So we have to find another battery. You've gotta be kidding me. All right, guys, we'll, we'll start the hunt. Where could it even be? None of these doors even open. What are these? These don't do anything either. Look at how low, look at how low res this is up, up close. It's not supposed to be stretched out this big, I don't think. Okay. Let's find the second battery. If I can even see where I'm going, where am I going? This is pitch black! What? How'd I get here? What? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay, um, sure hope the battery's not in here because I can't see shit! This is ridiculous! Where's the second battery? <sighs> there it is. There's the second battery. Been wandering around for 20 minutes looking for this fucking thing. Here it is! This is the first hallway, by the way. Hi! Oh, hello! There it is! Great! Now I have a flashlight. What was in this dump that- Nothing! Of course there's nothing! Why am I not surprised? There's nothing in here! Where do I even go at this point? This is my life now. This is- I do this for a living. This isn't- this isn't a joke, okay? This is what I do. This is what I do now, forever. Maybe, probably not forever. Hi. What? What? Okay, so you need a flashlight to see this, so I'm guessing that this is where we go. But, what the? The only thing I can see is the flashlight beam. Okay, let's go up, I guess. Since there's nothing to do down there. What? What is... There's... The doors don't even have sound effects. I know I crapped on Timor for the door sound effects because they're so creaky, but I would prefer that to none. What? Only about ritual sacrifices you will find the answer to your question. What do you mean? What does this even mean? Oh my, ritual sacrifice. Ah, spooky. Open up. What? What is? What am I even looking at? Hi. What? Doesn't it? What? So it's a five-digit code I'm looking for, huh? Own only about ritual sacrifices you will find so this is a hint for the code I'm guessing Well, they have restrooms here in the stone hallway do they let's go into the women's restroom where we're not supposed to be no mirrors here Oh, no a sink full of blood guys Freaking oh my oh my freaking god What the I'm just so, I'm so upset. Go, open. What did I expect from a game called Satanist? I get comments like that all the time. Whenever I'm like, this game's bad. There's always, there's always somebody who's like, what did you expect? <laughs> did you expect it to be good? And it's like, no, I didn't. It's funny, but this one's full of pee! Am I interpreting this incorrectly? Okay, open, open for the love of God. It's like, no, I, anyway, back to what I was talking about. It's like, no, I don't expect it to be good. It's fun if it's bad. It's like, like half of what my channel's about is playing these bad games. What the? People need to stop peeing. Stop peeing so much. Stop, stop freaking pissing in every toilet. Flush. Flush. Did you, have you guys ever heard of flushing? Sadly, this is accurate to public restrooms. Except it would be all over the seat as well. Uh, 
I don't know what it's like in women's restrooms, but in men's restrooms, there's always pee on the toilet seat because for some reason, some dudes like don't you like using urinals and they pee on the toilet with the seat freaking down. Who raised you? Where did they raise you? In a barn? Why? I can't even see. I have the flashlight on it. I can't even see. I'm starting to get really mad. I'm, starting, I'm about to go on a restroom rant. <sighs> okay, you know, you know those. Okay, so you know when you're at like a convention or something and the bathrooms are packed and everyone's waiting for the stalls, right? And like there are urinals open, of course, if you want to pee. And some dude, we look at you. And some dude like goes into the stall and pees. And it's like, could have used a urinal. I guess you wanted extra privacy, but now I have to wait and I gotta poo, you know? Open. What? There's a, it's a closet with a stepladder. What? Can I not open it? Where, where even am I? A21. Is that part of the code? I didn't even think about it. A20. Look at this, look at this. The flashlight is on. <sighs> Sorry, it just blows my mind. It's just, sorry, it's just jarring when anything happens at this point because it's so boring. Another stepladder closet? I don't believe it. Why did my flashlight die earlier? What is this? I was, okay, so I can hide here. Really? Oh my freaking gosh, you guys. Uh, met his death. Oh, oh, it's a note. I found my first note. <sighs> JRR138032. Enter JRR138 virus. The skin became Guinea decompose. They began to show a strong aggression, even tried to kill the officer. Then they died. Okay. One, two, start the experiment. Okay, the hair on top of the subject's head began to drop. The face is modified. Some areas of the skin to change color to green. We follow the developments. This is a great scientific log, thank you. Pupils become guinea green. What the hell does this mean? There was aggression, but no action is taken. Well, this is five days later. Okay. I, this is just like generic experimentation. Can I pull up the note again? Is there any inventory? Was that like part of the numbers that we need? Okay, so the game crashed. I'm starting it over one more time and we'll just see what happens. I am too lazy to go there. <sighs> That was the developer talking, by the way. They were too lazy to make a second floor. Okay, so I gotta memorize this because you can't bring it back up after it's over, sadly. Um, now there's, I would say the code is 138032 or 138033, but unfortunately there's no one on the number pad. There's just, there, there's a pound sign where the one would be, and I already tried 138. 032 and 138033 and neither of them did anything so not really sure where to go from here not work all right <sighs> that just sums up this entire game basically all right guys i can't get past i can't get past this part i mean it's not that i can't I probably could, I just, I just don't have the motivation. This is awful. This is an awful game. Uh, there, there's all, almost no redeeming qualities to it, and I have no idea why it's called Satanist. No idea. 
Also not sure how long it is, but I'd say I'm just guessing we're probably halfway through. Probably what happens is you put in the code here, you get like a hand, you go into the other room that requires a hand, and probably something happens there, and then there might be like one other room, one other sequence, and that's probably it. I'm guessing, I don't know, who knows? Like, who's gonna beat this? Who's gonna beat this game? Not me, I'm done. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and um, I hope you had fun laughing at the game with me. I will see you guys later. Think critically.